The opposition says these empty streets make a statement, a very clear one, about its commitment to peacefully take on Bangladesh's government. Businesses and shops closed their doors and most people stayed off the streets as they took part in the nationwide strike. We want all of our leaders to be free. The reason for the strike is the arrest of more than 30 senior opposition figures in connection with last month's anti-government protests in Dhaka. Every one of them deny involvement in an arson attack outside the Prime Minister's office during the protest. Some say they were not even in the city at the time. On Wednesday, a judge refused to grant them bail. That decision prompted yet more violence outside the courthouse and the call for a general strike. For months, they've been protesting against the government's alleged involvement in the disappearance of dozens of people, including their party organizer, Ilyas Ali. The government denies ordering his abduction. This is the sixth such strike in the last month. Concern is growing over the toll this movement is taking on Bangladesh. If this is not addressed, then this could really take us into new uh, areas of uncertainty, which uh, will not going to be beneficial for the country or the political process. With police out in full force, this morning some people in Dhaka did try to get to work. But there's a real fear that Bangladesh is now locked in a political fight that the country cannot afford. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dhaka.